Uh, action. Hi, my name is Rebecca Duncan. I worked as a, an intern here over the summer as part of the Youth Employment Program. And over the summer, we were all signed a family member from the McCook family. And we had to create a board that accurately depicts how we saw our characters or our person's personality, which is why um, on my board you'll see family trees and like maps and stuff, and I'll explain that a little later. Um, and part of our board, we had to have a some type of writing for an online journal called Poor Yorick. And we also had to create um, a resume of what we either would think would be a good job for them or the job they actually had and why it was good for them based on the things they did while they were alive. Um, so I'll explain to you my person. I had Frances McCook. She was born and she graduated high school in 1895. She went to Harvard Public High School along with the rest of her siblings. Um, in high school, one of her course highlights happened to be classical writing, and she also took Latin. Even though she did want to take Greek, but her father preferred her to take Latin because Greek was considered more of a male language back then. Um, for her objective, I put seeking job as a historian because of my interest in genealogy or a community organizer because of my passion for Hartford's history. And I say that because she did have a very great passion for history and her own family history. And she's actually the one who contacted what was then known as the Antiquarian and Landmark Society, and now Connecticut Landmarks, and talked to them about donating this house and making it into a museum. And another one of her um, achievements was actually um, over behind this house is the Amos Bull House, and that is uh, the house of some of her descendants. And they were actually going to tear the house down, but she decided that she didn't want a house of historical value to her and her family to be demolished. So she rallied up a group of people around the community, and they actually physically moved the building into their backyard. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, she's very into family history, which is why I have this family tree here. And um, these are clippings of a collage that she made because she was very into making collages, writing in journals and diaries. And um, yeah, these are the clippings of the collage that she actually made. And for my Poor York story, I wrote about that collage. And I'll read that to you right now. I title it Remembering Days Made Happy because that was actually the title of the collage. Dear Diary, I remember when the memory started to fade. I remember when I could no longer recall the look of pride in my father's eyes when I achieved something great. I remember when I could no longer recall the tenderness of my mother's touch. I remember not recalling that feeling of worry and apprehension I felt as I remembered that my brothers were all fighting in the war. But as I glance at all these moments in time, I remember. I remember the day we made our way down to Niantic. I remember the slight winds blowing my dress about as I took a walk with my father. I remember the crinkles in his eyes whenever he smiled. I remember that feeling of safety that I felt whenever I was with my brothers. And I remember that feeling of oblivious giddiness I felt as I played with my sisters. I remember the beautiful melodies we created as a family in the South Parlor. As I look at this photograph of photographs, I remember all these days made happy and so much more. Yours truly, Frances McCook. And um, another aspect that is on my board is you'll see um, this globe here and some stamps along the bottom and the actual map over here because her and along with most of her family, they were very interested in traveling. Um, her and her dad actually took a whole year and went on um, like a world tour. While during that world tour, they went to various countries in Asia and Europe. They visited one of her sisters, um, they called her Mippy while she was in China. They also went to Japan and um, as mentioned earlier, multiple places in Europe. And over here, you'll actually see, I don't know if you can see it, um, a piano and music notes to represent her passion for music. Um, she played piano, organ, and she also sang. She was part of her school's choir, and she actually got to perform a solo at her graduation from Hartford Public High School. 
Um, and another part of our presentation was to do an interactive. And my interactive was to challenge my viewers to fill out their own family tree, which you'll see here. And then, yeah, that would be the end. So you can come here and uh, I guess you can. Fill out my own family tree? Yes. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes while people are doing this, I would either talk to them more, answer any questions they would have about anything around the room, or I would play an actual recording of her that was recorded a year before she died in 1970, um, talking about various topics. They talk about the blizzard of 1888, um, attending the Charter Oak School, and discussing the family high chest. Are you done? I didn't get too far. I, I know them, but I don't remember their the names. names, so I could look it up at home. Yeah, and that's like, ah. one thing I encourage you to do, to take it with you and try to see if you can actually finish it from doing research and just talking mm. to your other family members. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you. you.